Hi, baby. Good girl. She's purring. I don't think she likes it, though. What is it, Coda? <laughs> it's your same sister. I know she smells weird. She was just at the vet all day. She's still waking up from her anesthesia. Oh, gosh. Here comes the crazy boy. What happened to Sissy? What happened to her? Is she okay? Checking on her. Same sis. I love the heart. The heart is so cute, Bella. You're going to be okay. gonna use it as a club to beat him. It's okay, Coda. I mean, to be honest, if she swats at you with the club, it's gonna hurt a lot less than with nails. You're not gonna be able to shake it off. You're not gonna be able to lick it off. It's gotta stay on. Minimum of three weeks, the vet said. It, it depends on what you end up doing, how you end up being. Hi, Cooper, yes, hello. Welcome to Super Cooper Sunday. Vet said three weeks, maybe four. Maybe less if you're doing good, but probably around three. There's no reason to give us that face. I like your heart. It's a nice touch. It's not you at all, but it at least makes you look like, you know, you're nice. So we're just hanging out with her here on the couch. Just going to keep an eye on her. We did take her cone off. She doesn't actually need the cone. The thing is, is the vet told us that cats kind of have like a temptation to try to start biting it. So as long as she doesn't do that, then she's going to be fine. Whole family is here and moral support. We're not really sure what happened. She kept trying to escape Trevor's office yesterday. That's supposed to be her safe space during construction. So we don't know if maybe she got under somebody's foot or if she was trying to like chase people out the door and she got stuck in the door or if she was in something and tried to run away. We're not really sure. That's kind of my, that's what I'm assuming. So I, I think it's the, the two like the thumb and then like the first pointer finger. I have a feeling she may have like, cause she's been all over the place. She loves that this house is like a jungle gym right now. We're actually, we're getting close as an update to you guys. We're getting close. Things are finally being put away. But I, she always like puts her claws into things just like for fun when she's playing. So like she could have had her claw on something. And obviously we've got tons of construction workers and stuff all over the place. So maybe somebody came in a door she wasn't expecting and she like turned and tried to run away and her foot was stuck. It's a very minor fracture. So it literally could have been anything. She could have jumped off of something and landed wrong. And it just kind of happens. She could have been stepped on by a big stinky dog. I don't um, think that was the case because those two were locked up. She somehow up. got on the bed this morning and he jumped and didn't see, he didn't look before he jumped and he was jumping He jumped on, on her, her this morning. <laughs> she is broken. <laughs> you gotta be really careful, buddy. We've got to respect her personal space. I know that's something that you've never even begun to grasp the concept of, <laughs> but we've really got to work on it this week. And I think you're going to get some, some hits in the face because you probably deserve it. So yeah, she's going to be good. She's not in any pain. She's got pain meds for the next few days. Doc said that, I mean, within the next 24 to 48 hours, she should be pretty much moving around like normal, but with a cast on. Obviously, it's going to be awkward, but she's going to be able to move. She's going to be able to eat, drink, go potty, play, do her thing. She's just going to be in a cast for the next month or so. So we're going to give you guys some updates throughout this week. It should be uh, hopefully a fun episode. So we needed to run and grab a couple of supplies just to make her life a little bit easier. I was tasked with staying here, keeping an eye on her. She has not moved and uh, it looks like Chelsea just got home. Oh wow, look at this. What do we have? A new litter box, bigger, more space for old they Clubfoot. Didn't have anything bigger than what we had, so. Clubfoot to be able to move <laughs> around and do her thing. We've got a new type of cat litter which shouldn't get stuck to her it's paw. Pellets. It smells like a rabbit cage. What is this? Well, that's her, that's her I don't feel good blankie. She gets a heart blanket that matches the cast. Wow, you see that, Coop? So, Little gravies. <laughs> She's getting treats. What is well, this? Well, the vet said if it's hard for her to drink, cats are already weird about water, so she might not okay. make the extra effort. This is for your desk. I almost got pink. You're welcome that I didn't. Wow, a new bowl for the desk. And this is, they said to leave a bell on so we could find we could her. Find and her. also we can put it around the collar so then her, her cone can just snap on, snap off instead of tie. Nice. 
All right, good work. It's time to settle in for the night. What a life. We're currently being carried to breakfast. She slept well last night, just kind of stayed in her own little bed next to us. Gonna put her down here. Look, Bella, it's your favorite thing in the world, food. And we've got a little bit of water in there. We need to fill that up, but uh, I know it's not fun. It's not fun. Don't fall off. I'll cut your butt if you fall. Let's, let's eat. So as a part of our house renovation that's going on, we're gonna be moving my office upstairs. It's not gonna be in this room. This is a temporary setup, but this is our current situation. How you doing, girl? We brought her bed up. She's got some water. She's got her litter. I've got these things. You guys saw she didn't really want her food this morning, but she really likes these. It's kind of like a go-gurt for cats. So we're up here. She's my coworker, listening to all the videos, overlooking my editing, making sure I'm doing a good job. So she sits in the corner all day and doesn't move, but look at this, she can move for these. If you stop rubbing it, I can get some out so you can eat it. Like I said before, this is like a go-gurt for cats and she's going crazy for it. Would you like in on some of this, love? Oh my God. It stinks, no. yes. Here, come on. Oh, oh, look, she walks. Oh, she. you mean she's she not, walks. here, Bella, come here. Do you want some? Good girl. Oh, wow. Oh, you walk quickly. Yeah, she's good. We have movement. The whole family is watching. Bella, watch out for the stairs. So let's go get her. Don't, don't let her go down the stairs by herself. Good catch. Bella, we really cannot do the stairs. We might have to get baby gates or something. Yeah. The thing is, the vet said that cats will be very confident. They'll get back on their feet. They'll move around like they used to. And obviously, even though she thinks she can do that, physically she can't. Bella, I promise you, no matter how hard you shake it, you're not gonna be able to shake it off. So this is our current situation today. She wants to lay in bed and continue milking this and just have her food delivered to her. She doesn't wanna to have to stand up. She doesn't wanna to have to work for it at all. She just wants it right within reach where she can lay and eat. Well, I think we all kind of feel that way, but gonna be honest, the, the health is, is gonna become an issue if we keep this up. It's like she's playing the floor as lava. She doesn't, she doesn't wanna get out of bed. If I didn't have to get out of bed to eat, I wouldn't either. She's. She just rolled out of bed to eat, like halfway. She's got two feet off, rolled out of bed to eat. What a lie. Really, I don't understand. Look at those bites. She'll run away to try and run down the stairs, but then she's like, oh, I can't leave my bed to eat. I'm so injured. So welcome back. I believe it's afternoon number four, something like that. We're still really playing it up. Just, I mean, you know, when one leg is broken, all of them are. So <laughs> got to be carried around everywhere. What have you done? Okay, so before Bella got hurt, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, it'd be so funny because you're getting a new office, which means she's getting a new hangout space. Right. I have to buy this and this is a present for them. So this is a present from me, Koopy and Coda to you guys for your new workspace. She's interested. Do you see that, Bella? What do we got, Coop? What'd you get? Coda's gonna come check it out too, our resident package inspector, make sure everything's <laughs> safe. He's like you, he's so excited that he got somebody a present, he just can't wait. Just wants to tear it open. What, is that a scratcher? You seen this, Bella? A cat scratcher tunnel? Wow, look at that. Coop, you, you can't, that's not really what it's for. Oh, she got a private yacht. <laughs> watched that show that night and they had a private yacht and you were like, it'd be so cool to have a yacht. <laughs> I already bought it. She's talking about Succession. We've been binging <laughs> Succession. Bella's been watching Succession with us. So, wow. Look at this, Bella. You get injured. You get babied. You get fed in bed. You don't have to walk up and down the stairs anymore. You get presents. All that just oh, for a cast. Man. Hey, guys. Don't forget, there was definitely this present in here for Cooper that he definitely wouldn't just put in here himself. Oh, wow. was this already in the house? Yes. He just brought this over. Yes. Good boy. Yes. 
so he could open it. That's not really how it's supposed to be used, guys. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> It's like, it's her stretcher. This is her I was, stretcher. I was just thinking of like the queen of Egypt when she gets carried around on the chair. Oh my God. Please be careful. <laughs> We're going back upstairs. Okay, bye. Bye queen. We'll see oh my later. God, the, <laughs> the whole cast is sticking out. Okay, we'll just be down here, us peasants.